Right, if you live or work in Baltimore, you've probably seen a man named Daldy, but you never stop to take notice. And beyond what you're able to see is actually a man with a wealth of world knowledge that often goes unnoticed. Avajoy Burnett uncovers the mystery behind this ordinary man with extraordinary past, the simple wish for a future. By the time Baltimore wakes up, I got to get up around 5 o'clock in the morning. Some have already been at it for hours. If I got a little change, I get a cup of coffee or tea. Logging the miles, crisscrossing Charm City because they don't have a choice. I'm pretty much in every place in Baltimore now. This is Dottie Boma, a one time international traveler. I worked in London and Germany. But now, this is one of the places he calls home. I'm just so tired of being homeless. But his words can give you a hint of the life he once had in Tanzania. My dad was a diplomat, so I had a chance to travel around the world. So when another opportunity came to explore, it was no brainer. Dottie was on his way to America for college. See, I was so excited to go to the college, so my whole mindset was about school and everything. Dottie had a scholarship, but money eventually ran out. Now, I started working there, but Alabama, they don't have jobs like here. Then some friends told him, come up to Maryland. And after summer, you can get enough money to pay for your tuition. But that's what I saw. But he, when I came in here, the reality was not like that. The seasons changed, but his fortune did not. And with that passage of time came another misfortune. I was driving a forklift machine, and I was picking up the load. I was panicking, so I, it threw me out. And when I fell down and I hit my head this side, all of a sudden I started to do a seizure. The seizures meant he couldn't drive and couldn't keep his job. That's how I end up on the street. And he's on a constant quest to find food. Daily bread is about to close like in what, 1230? That means if I miss there, I will have to walk around the city to find something to eat. Would you like a sandwich? Yeah. Okay. Some milk? Yeah. I make it better than anything I ever ate today. After 20 years in America, if I get a chance to go to college or whatever to finish, I'll do it. Dottie is still holding on to hope. Because I think I still got the ability to do it. That hope is tied to this carefully folded piece of paper. This is from Concordia College, Selma, Alabama. A college transcript that he somehow scrunched up $25 to get. Reading lab, I failed at. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. It's been years since he was in college. I can do the tax return. But the knowledge is still there. This only I can identify like I was there because people sometimes don't believe it. A pastor once told Dottie a mistake is only a mistake when you stop trying to fix it. So here's Dottie's plan to fix it. If I got an income, like I say, I can go to well, Baltimore Community College and everything, I already talk to them, they would take that. But until that opportunity comes, the commute starts once again. Some days I walk all night long. For yet another dark and sometimes lonely night, Dottie will be one of approximately 2,193 people who are homeless in Baltimore. I gotta find a safe place to sleep because every night out here is dangerous. But for Dottie... Do you have hope for the future? I do. That's the only thing I got left, I think, now. Tomorrow may just open the door that he's been waiting for in Baltimore. I'm surviving, that's all. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ. Wow. Um, Avajoy Burnett did a phenomenal job telling that story, and I'm glad that she hit on that statistic. There are so many other stories like that out there, and I hope that somebody gives Dottie a chance. You never know what somebody is going through. Yep. Right? Sit down, talk to him, give him a second. It might mean the world to them.